All right, so this over here is a sheep clock. So this looks kind of like a mess, but I assure you, uh, this is actually a, a bunch of organs. Uh, this is a sheep pluck, which is a heart and lung still attached to one another. So this right here is the sheep's trachea, and uh, this is the heart right here, and this little flap of tissue right here, uh, that is the pericardium, which would surround the heart. Uh, which it's all of this extra stuff over here is still pericardium, pericardium, more pericardium. Uh, and these are the lungs. So all of these are the lungs. This is one of the lungs and this is the other lung. Now, uh, figuring out which one is the right lung and which one is the left lung is our first task. So in determining which one is the left and which is the right, we need to figure out how many lobes do we have. Now in human lungs, and human lungs and sheep lungs are actually pretty analogous, so that means that we have pretty similar setups. Human left lungs uh, are going to have a, <clears throat> excuse me, are going to have two lobes, the upper lobe and the lower lobe. And the human right lungs are going to have the upper, middle, and lower lobes. So we're going to have our setup, excuse me, more difficult than it looks, it's all stiff. All right, here we go. We have a, a left lung here. with our upper, our, sorry, this is our right lung, excuse me, uh, with our upper, our middle, and our lower lobe, and we have our right lung, sorry, left lung, left lung, with our upper and our lower lobes. Now, with our upper lobe, we have the upper lobe, and here we have the lingula. The lingula is a little tongue-shaped extension of the upper lobe, which is designed to fit in that little cardiac notch. Now, I don't necessarily want to separate this quite yet. Uh, I'm going to uh, first do some uh, experiments with this lung. So this would be how the sheep would be in its daily life, all right? So this is the, uh, heavier than it looks. <sighs> Poor guy. Poor girl. I can't tell, pretty clearly. All right, now, Right side, left side. If I were to take a closer look at this trachea, I can tell that we have a few rings here. And obviously, you can't feel this through the screen. And if you're trying to touch the screen, you're a weirdo. But if you see, there is a pattern here. You can sort of you can sort of see through this texture. You can see that texture of grooves. Let's find a spot that can visualize it. There we go. That ridge pattern. There's some ridges right there. Now if you recall when we were discussing that uh, ring structure of the C-shaped rings of cartilage. We had in the trachea all those C-shaped rings. So this is what we have here. Now I'm going to find where that ring has that C and I am going to cut along that ring. There we go. 
So this is the soft space. If I tried, I would have a tough spot there, tough spot there, and there's the soft spot. So tough, 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 soft. All right? So tough, 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 soft. Now, back to the scissors. I'm going to take this, I'm going to find that soft spot in here, and I'm going to open this up. So this is all smooth muscle right there. All of that is smooth muscle. All that smooth muscle. Now I'm going to cut through cartilage. And all of that is cartilage. I'm going to hold that closer to the camera. I'm going to see if the cameraman tells me I'm in focus or not. A little down. There we go. Am I in focus? Good. Now you can tell the difference between that muscle and that cartilage. Dark meat, white cartilage. All right, so those C-shaped rings of cartilage are going to run all through. Now this right here, this, I believe that might be thyroid gland. Let's actually open that up and just see. I'm just curious. This isn't Cambridge testable, but I'm curious. Oh yeah, that's car that's thyroid. Yeah, that's cool. I'm just intrigued. I'm gonna cut that off. Just, just gonna cut that off. Now we'll get over here. Please. Come back. There we go. Like I said, the scalpel is for large cuts. So this tissue over here, I'm just going to separate that out. All right, I'm going to set that off to the side. And now I have a more complete view of the trachea. So I have removed stuff off to the side. I have shown you smooth muscle, and I have shown you cartilage. All right, now I can't show you epithelium, but uh, because I don't have microscopic eyes. Uh, although, if I did want to, and I had the equipment for it, uh, we could make a slide and actually put that uh, under a microscope and make a preparation of it, if we wanted to. Now, uh, I'm gonna see if I can do something. I'm gonna see if I can inflate these lungs. Give me a second.